Well, with a title like Tu Juti Mai Makar, you know you can expect a certain level of fulham. In fact, one of the characters in the film, somewhere down the line, says, it was so frivolous. And I think that sums up Lavarjun's Tu Juti Mai Makar. It's tied, it's a tad too tried, tried story. Boy meets girl love story in changed circumstances in a world of uh, lewins and the fashion that goes around it becomes the central theme of this film. Thrown in is a Punjabi family, the Punjabi humor, the lifestyle. And then you have Ranbir and Shraddha making an interesting star pair on screen. That's what the film is about. For hours and hours you may tell a story which in itself becomes disinteresting. It is really time that mainstream filmmakers realize the value of time in multiplex cinema and realize that they don't have that kind of punch and material to keep telling us stories for over two and a half hours when a good editor could cut it off to about less than two hours sometimes. Length does not matter. Will somebody please tell filmmakers and in the context Lavarjun that. Lavarjun's Tujuti Maimakar is some kind of a tamasha with Anjana Anjani. It's perhaps just a coincidence that it has Ranbir in both movies. It's about two people who meet, who share common interests, share bed, share uh, lovely moments, want to get married but can't get married or don't want to get married and throw up very first world problems in the context of love and romance. In the instant case, Mickey Ranbir comes from an affluent family which is headed by, very interestingly, Mr. Aroda, played by Boni Kapoor and his wife. Renu, played by Dimple Kapadia. There's the grandma in the house, Jatinder Kaur. There's a little kid in the house, in Ayat Varma, who's uh, Mickey's niece. The rest are irrelevant. Mickey, on the side, with his friend Dabas, played very well by Anubhav Singh, run a break bureau. A break bureau meaning that they break up relationships. They have template arrangements. They have a whole team working for it. It's at a corporate level. When relationships are to break, unlike a marriage bureau or a matrimonial site, they are at the other end of the spectrum. And everything is hunky-dory till when um, Dabas and his girlfriend Kinchi are to get married and Dabas develops cold feet. By now, Miki has met Kinchi's best friend, Tini, that Shraddha, and so he pushes for a holiday and therefore you have a chance to see Spain and Mauritius. So the four of them go for a holiday. Lo behold Cupid over, works over time and therefore you have Randir and Shraddha falling head over heels with both of them and they are in love. So watch on. The Aurora family is also extremely enthusiastic with Pan Punjabi fizz and fava and what the marriage happening ASAP. However, there's a chink in the armory. Tini, that is Shraddha, develops cold feet. Lo and behold, has heard of the break bureau and engages the break bureau to break her ongoing relationship and engagement with Mickey. Mickey is shocked, and what happens thereafter is what is to duty my A movie where as I said, it's also frivolous that you don't take it seriously. It's a very light movie, so, except that it's for two and a half hours and more. You would have liked it to be for just about two hours. It's a kind of film that would have been so nice if it was made within the precincts of a Rishikesh Mukherjee or a Basuda uh, scheme of things. But, you know, Love Arjun is not in that street and he has to make larger than life for them. He's got to take you to Mauritius. He's got to take you to Spain. He could have done this in Chaupati for all I care. What really works for the film is the pleasant performance from Dimple Kapadia and Bonnie in the last few minutes. 
they really take over the writer's finale in the movie and add a lot of weaker to a film that halfway down just completely lost stream and its way. And then Shraddha and Ranbir make for an interesting start pair. I'd also particularly mention Anubhav Singh as Dabas, who has a fantastic sense of timing in his comedy. And it's so nice to see somebody whose comedy is based on timing rather than making faces and making a fool of yourself. Anubhav Singh, welcome to the party. I hope to see a lot more of you. And then, frankly, in a film of this kind, so much depends on the central character and Ranbir, like Dad Rishi, may take the most innocuous, in fact, some of the most irritating roles and convert them into pleasant, viewable roles. And that is the challenge of a great actor. Ranbir's proved it time and again and he proves it without doubt. Tu Juti, my makkar is Ranbir. You like Ranbir, go and see it. You don't like Ranbir, go and see it and you will like him. It is that kind of a Ranbir performance. I would recommend Tu Juti, my makkar only for those who have nothing really to do and are tired of other things and just want to go and have a laugh for some time. And don't mind playing a couple of uh, video games while they are watching the movie. And watch Ranbir, watch Dimple Kapadia and just forget the rest of the movie. Uh, I, I'll sign off now with the acknowledgements. I would thank um, Dattu. I would thank Abina for working around the technology of getting this reaching out to all of you. Uh, viewers, please, I, I treasure comments coming from you. It gives me a sense of feeling that some of you are really watching it seriously. Uh, most importantly, that you're taking me seriously. Uh, that could be a huge compliment. So do watch, but more importantly, do respond with a comment or two. Thank you very much. Goodbye.